Okay, here we are. Day two. All right, today I got not my butt joints, but my straight seams. Get a coat on those. So we got the butt joints, save those for last, that then when you trowel down, feathers right into there nice. Ceiling, straight joints, and all the way around the perimeter. Yeah, I didn't do so good up in that corner, but you'll never know, I'll hide it. Did all the perfect 90 in the corners today love that stuff and then on the top edge there we use oh go look at that that's one swipe down through there oh man look that look nice nice flat finish Even that one up there, got a few air bubbles, but I'll skin coat it. Anyway, this is what we use right here. Good shit. So, yeah, I did the corners. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, now, I'm gonna do nail, screw holes again. Besides doing, I'm gonna go straight down through that with there when you're back here, pole sanding. You get a line to go all the way up by on each side. You're not trying to sand all the way around. And when it's primed, you're not seeing these little round spots. You're more up to see those individually than what you would a straight line. Oh yeah, there's the ceiling. Not too bad, mirror bubbles right there. Nothing you can do about those. And I love how that tape really, really sunk in like that. That's good. It's because I cut it all out with the razor blade so that the mud could get in there. You know, two or three years down the road, if I wouldn't have done that, this would all start cracking. Nice seam there. Came out nice. Not too many air bubbles in that one. Alright, back to work. Ciao! Yeah, yeah.